Hey, good afternoon, Roger Casey again, Burgess Construction Consultants. Sitting on the backside of a subdivision, beautiful piece of land overlooking a lake, a lot of water out there. Uh, we want to talk about a different kind of water today and water uh, intrusion prevention. So WRB, water resistive barrier on a house to deal with water in all its forms. It's very important to execute correctly, but the uh, 2018 does address something, address a change we want to talk about. Prior to that, really code only addressed uh, felt for the most part. The 2018 now has some specific language about manufacturer specifications, allowing flexibility in code, which code endeavors to do. So that's good and bad. It refers you to manufacturer specs and becomes very, very critical to get those installation um, specifications executed correctly in the field. It comes, uh, it has to do with everything from tape schedule, fastener schedule, etc. Making sure that uh, we're not blending materials, don't want to have dissimilar materials. If you want the WRB manufacturer to warrant the integrity, you've got to execute well. That's using the right materials and the right fastener schedule, whether that's crown staples, uh, plastic cap nails, etc. So I want to execute that correctly. And I'm going to come over here and talk about one other thing real quick. And while I do, I'll tell you that also, R703.2, which is the WRB section, no longer excludes accessory buildings, which it did prior to 2018. So now any um, outbuilding, accessory building, also has to have a good WRB, and that will be handled by the IRC. Uh, one other thing I want to touch on real quickly is making sure our scopes of work are uh, adequate and and well laid out for our trades and to ensure their success and construction success. You know, the scopes of work on this house, I'm, I'm hoping did not call for two different types and styles of penetration flashing. We've got a good product over here and another good one here. Both have their execution problems. We'll need some counter flashing and wrapping, etc. But let's make sure our scopes are detailed and communicating those well so that we can uh, have access, uh, successful construction project in the field. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.